All right, so there seems to be a problem lately online with uh, counterfeit parts, and I don't just mean junk out of China. I mean junk out of China that's labeled as OEM. Um, so here we have some NGK spark plugs. Well, two of the three are NGK spark plugs. They're all labeled NGK spark plugs. This is a spark plug that was originally in <clears throat> an Audi 3.0T supercharged. <sighs> Had about 100,000 miles on it when the plugs were changed. And you can see both electrodes are in pretty good shape. Uh, insulators got some deposits, but that's to be expected after 100,000 miles. Uh, the color of the, the body is in good shape. The plating's in good shape. Insulator's in good shape. And so is the tip, the uh, top electrode there. Well, about 4,000 miles ago, these were replaced with these supposedly NGK OEM Volkswagen bought on eBay and I'll post a screenshot of the seller um, here in a moment um, but these have 4,000 miles on them take a look at that take a look at that electrode look at how melted down that is now it didn't look like that when it went into it obviously um, look at the coloring of the plating. Look how discolored, overheated it's been. Look at the coloring on this, on the tip here. Now, at first glance, say, oh yeah, BWAG, NGK, looks just like the ones that got pulled out, right? But if you take a closer look, Everything's just a little different. The printing is larger, thinner. It's not quite the same. And then if you look at the bodies themselves, the insulator, the insulator's got a different profile. It's got a smaller diameter on, on the knockoff than the original on the body. Well, it's got the same stampings, doesn't it? Yep, Japan. That's the correct part number, R1. Same thing as on the original here. But the flats, the wrench flats, are actually larger on the knockoff. And this little area here, this band between the threading and the wrench flats, is actually thicker. So you can actually see that if you look closely enough. They don't screw in or screw out as nicely as the uh, OEM ones. And if we look at the electrode strap, we can see a difference in profile here. I'll try to zoom in. Look at how flat that is, kind of rectangular. It's got some wear, a lot of wear for 4,000 miles. If we look at the original that came out of the vehicle, it has more of a, has a definitely a thicker electrode strap, um, and it's less rectangular because um, it's a little narrower at the top. And just for comparison's sake, here's a straight out of the box from Napa NGK PFR 8S AEG, which is the exact spark plug. Um, just in a retail package and retail markings. And if we look at that electrode strap, yep, it's got the rounded corners on the top, slightly narrower at the top. You can see the uh, um, platinum um, electrode on the bottom of the strap there, a the little pellet, a little, little tab. And if we can compare that one to the one that came out of the vehicle you can see that they're virtually identical save for the stampings on the the band here but the band is the same width the flats are the same size the 
insulator profile and, and shape and, and size is the same. And even these tips here are exactly the same. Now if we compare the knockoff counterfeit, you can see that's got a very different tip. And there you go, you see the, the difference in the, in the bodies. This one's thinner on the knockoff. The shape of the, the, um, the shell here, the flats are larger, the band is wider, and the uh, shape of the, the porcelain inside is different. So, and, I mean, they came in a Volkswagen marked box, but obviously this stuff is just as easy to counterfeit. Volkswagen Group, part numbers, it's got all the right markings. Um, I don't know about the color of the package, that kind of threw me, but who knows. And even one more difference that you can tell here. The cardboard tube that the spark plug comes in. That's the one that comes with the knockoff. And here's the one that comes with factory NGK. They're different. The factory NGK one is a little bit larger. So, wider. So here you go, folks. And these were not too good to be true. They were priced about a little over half off of what you would pay for genuine OEM elsewhere. So it wasn't like they were uh, $10. They were about you know, 40 or $50, somewhere in there. But just be very, very careful when buying parts online. Um, like I said, I'm going to post a, a, a screenshot of the seller to avoid this person. And, uh, you know, when these were purchased, nobody saw any bad ratings, uh, bad reviews. Um, everybody was pretty happy with their purchases. Um, but now going on that seller's page and looking at their, their feedback, their profile feedback, uh, there's a lot of unhappy people with their uh, knockoff counterfeit NGK plugs. So just be very, very careful. Yeah, for a 3.0T, it's gonna cost you about 100 bucks for a set of genuine NGKs. Don't cheap out. I mean, you just gotta suck it up unless you absolutely 100% know you're getting actual NGK. Don't risk it.